What if your clean diet is starving your gut and fueling your fatigue, brain fog, and stubborn bloating? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're examining why invisible gut dysfunction is so common, how short-chain fatty acids, especially butyrate, anchor your resilience, and why replacing seed oils with stable fats can be a decisive first step toward repair. I'm focused on giving you direct, actionable information you can apply right away. I'm Alara Skye. In this episode, you'll learn how your microbiome influences digestion, immunity, metabolism, and even mood, why diversity matters, what the fiber paradox means for you, and how a simple oil swap can start restoring balance from the inside out. You might relate to the pattern described in the gut cure. You train hard, track macros, and read labels. Yet you crash mid-afternoon, your joints ache for no clear reason, and digestion feels unpredictable. Standard labs look normal, but something is off. The book points to a root cause many people overlook, a depleted or disturbed microbiome that's failing to generate the compounds your gut relies on to keep you steady. Your gut microbiome is a vast community of bacteria and other microbes concentrated in your colon. When it's balanced and diverse, you digest more efficiently, regulate immunity, and maintain steadier energy. When diversity drops due to antibiotics, ultra-processed foods, chronic stress, and environmental toxins, opportunistic microbes gain ground. That imbalance shows up as bloating, irregularity, mood swings, low-grade inflammation, and susceptibility to triggers you used to tolerate. A central reason diversity matters is the production of short-chain fatty acids, SCFAs, from fermentable fiber. These include acetate, propionate, and the standout, beauty rate, your beneficial microbes make them when you feed them the right substrates. They are not optional extras. They are core to how you stabilize your gut environment and reduce inflammatory signaling. Butterate deserves special attention. It is the preferred fuel for the cells lining your colon, providing up to 70% of their energy. When those cells receive enough butyrate, they maintain a strong barrier, reinforce tight junctions, and support the protective mucus layer. When butyrate is inadequate, your gut lining struggles to repair itself, defenses weaken, and irritation becomes easier to provoke. The anti-inflammatory reach of butyrate extends beyond digestion. It helps calm overactive immune responses, which is why low levels correlate with persistent joint discomfort, skin reactivity, and fatigue. Rather than masking symptoms, adequate butyrate addresses upstream drivers, so inflammatory cascades don't gain momentum in the first place. Metabolic stability is another area you feel. Beauty rate supports insulin sensitivity, appetite signaling, and steadier blood sugar control. When production is healthy, hunger cues normalize, cravings ease, and energy feels more even. This isn't about white-knuckling restriction. It's about restoring signals that guide you toward appropriate intake without constant effort. There's also a gut-brain dimension. Through the gut-brain axis, Butyrate influences neurotransmitters, including serotonin, dopamine, and GABA, and it helps preserve the integrity of the blood-brain barrier. Adequate levels are often associated with clearer thinking, steadier mood, and better stress tolerance, while low levels track with irritability and mental fatigue that can precede obvious digestive issues. If butyrate is so central, why are many people running low? Modern dietary patterns push you in that direction. Seed oils rich in polyunsaturated fats, PUFs, especially linoleic acid, along with emulsifiers and ultra-processed foods, disrupt beneficial microbes and suppress butyrate production. Repeated antibiotic courses, chronic stress, and sedentary routines compound the deficit over time. At this point, you might ask whether eating more fiber automatically fixes the problem. That's where the fiber paradox comes in. When your gut is already inflamed or imbalanced, piling on fiber can backfire, feeding the wrong microbes, worsening bloating, or passing through unfermented. More isn't always better until your internal environment is ready to use it properly. The encouraging news is that your microbiome is adaptable. 
with the right inputs, it can regain balance. The strategy begins with removing what interferes and reintroducing what supports repair. In gut cure, the most reliable early lever is removing seed oils and other PUFs and replacing them with stable fats that don't inflame your gut environment. Make the first swap simple and consistent. Cook with butter or coconut oil instead of canola, soybean, sunflower, or safflower oils. If you steam vegetables or bake sweet potatoes, finish them with ghee rather than a bottled low-fat dressing made with seed oils. Each replacement reduces oxidative stressors that undermine microbial diversity and butyrate production. As your gut steadies, you can consider fermentable substrates more strategically. The book notes that exploring resistant starches, such as properly prepared potatoes or green bananas, comes later, when you're ready to ferment them into butyrate again without provoking symptoms. The sequence matters. Remove disruptors first, then rebuild sensibly. This approach is not about overhaul in a day. It's about a focused first move that changes your internal chemistry. Stable fats support your gut lining and set the stage for beneficial microbes to produce more SCFAs. Over weeks, many people notice fewer reactive episodes, less afternoon fatigue, and a calmer digestive rhythm. Keep your attention on patterns rather than isolated meals. If you reduce seed oils across your pantry in daily cooking, you give your gut a consistent break from inputs that erode diversity. That consistency is what allows your colon cells to receive more butyrate, strengthen barriers, and quiet inflammatory signaling. Your next step is to connect symptoms you've normalized with actions you can take. Energy crashes, unpredictable digestion, and irritability aren't random. They're signals that your microbiome needs different inputs. The first input to change is the fat you cook with and the oils hidden in packaged foods you assumed were clean. Here's your practical challenge. Today, audit three items you use often, your cooking oil, a favorite dressing or sauce, and a go-to packaged snack. If they contain canola, soybean, sunflower, safflower, grapeseed, rice bran, or similar seed oils, replace them with butter, ghee, or coconut oil for cooking, and choose alternatives without seed oils for dressings and snacks. Track how you feel over the next two weeks, energy, digestion, cravings, and mood, and note any shifts. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.